Hi. Uh, if, you, if you've seen my show, you know this, but uh, one in four American women have had abortions. I am one of them. I'm intensely grateful that it was a safe choice for me to make. I, uh, and I have deep gratitude for the fact that I was um, the first generation uh, in my family for whom childbirth was not an obligatory thing. So I just want to put that out there. Uh, as many of you know, about a year ago, I, um, I made a play about the Constitution and women's bodies. And um, thank you. Uh, and uh, a few people had the crazy idea that this would be a good show for Broadway. <laughs> Uh, Diana Domena, Aaron Glick, Matt Ross, and they were, yes, the amazing trio, and uh, they were looking for producers who also thought this would be a good idea, and uh, n not everyone did, surprisingly. Um, but they found this incredible company called Level Forward, started in 2018 by uh, Abigail Disney and Killer Films in the wake of the Weinstein um, scandal to create content uh, initially uh, by women, for women, about women, and now they've expanded um, to tell stories that are not being told enough. Uh, stories by artists of color, women, LGBTQ folks, and uh, their mission is, is to let those people, let all of us tell our own stories because what we see on the stage and on the screen and who we see on the stage and the screen really does matter. Uh, so they joined uh, Team Constitution as co-producers. They are now taking the play across the country so that it can be seen uh, in every state eventually, I hope. Uh, I'm so grateful to them for this. They also engaged on so many levels. When our uh, young teenage debater, Thursday Williams, wanted to have a voting drive to celebrate her 18th birthday, Level Forward partnered with Generation Citizen to make that happen. Uh, they're also uh, producers right now on Slave Play, the groundbreaking work by Jeremy O'Harris. Um, they uh, were producers on Oklahoma, another um, incredible musical that uh, confronts the trauma and reality of America's past. So they're telling the real stories, the important stories, and I'm so honored to, um, to be here tonight to present them with an award from the ACLU. Uh, I'd like to welcome them to the stage right now. Thank you. ever wanted to cement an unwavering lifetime commitment to social justice, you have Heidi Schreck give you an ACLU award. Um, come on, come on, uh, just quickly, because we only have two minutes and 30 seconds, and there are so many people we need to thank, but first and foremost, Heidi Schreck, every night you went out on stage, I can't see a thing, but every night you went out on stage, and your sweat and your tears and bearing your soul, you called all of us to ask more of ourselves, more compassion, more attention, and more empathy. And in doing so, you elevated what's possible in theater, and not through lecturing or proselytizing, but through your disarming charm and intellect and wit. And for that, we thank you, wherever you are. And as, as Constitution prepares to tour around the country, it reminded us of another tour, a tour that took place in the 1970s, and it was a tour of propaganda films. Propaganda films uh, created to convince Americans that our bodies were under their control. Um, and no, Eva Price did not produce that tour. Um, but that tour was produced by, you know, C. Everett Koop and Pat Buchanan and 
political strategists, and they did it to cloak discrimination in morality. And we know how dangerous that can be, and that is why it is so important that we have work like the what the Constitution means to me and slave play that ask these very difficult questions of us so that we do not get lulled into the complacency of fatalism and the idiocracy of privilege. <clears throat> And so on behalf of all of the levelers, East Coast, West Coast, our tremendous partners, I know you're all here tonight, um, and these two incredible women with me, Angie and Rachel, for whom they make everything possible, uh, and Abigail Disney, who's not here because she is out there fighting the fight right now on the front lines of income equality. Uh, and Eva Price, our willing partner, who, who joined with us in infusing commercial art with purpose. We thank you. None of these people were ever invited into the stadium field to play, not to mention how sloped that field is. So we commit to building new fields and doing so facing the fear that ACLU lawyers from way back when did and paved the way all the way up to Anna Maria Archila, and even our friend Kelly Bachman, who called out the rapist in the comedy club Woo! the other night. Kelly! So on behalf of all of that great work from the past and all of the people we have yet to inspire, thank you so much.